everyone, Mama Gina here, and happy Sunday to you all. I hope you're all having a good day, and everybody is safe and healthy. And here, as you can see, we have Miss Rosa Lee. She's in the vintage carriage, and I wanted to bring her out and do a little more details video on her and see what outfits might work on her because she is pretty small and she's very short so um, we will see what we can do okay here we go okay now here is this lovely baby and she is just absolutely adorable I really really love her and very glad that I got her so I wanted to share uh, some of her details and just share her in general because I'm very impressed with how she is and I love her rosy toned skin very very nice I've been really enjoying her I know I haven't didn't make a video last weekend but I made one on Wednesday when I got her or was that Saturday now I can't remember because I know she came early so anyway look at this beautiful dress and I didn't want to take it off of her the only thing I've done was uh, I looked at her toes and then I put her in let's see pumpkin spices little hat just to see what she would look like so this is her first changing And Ping Lao did a wonderful job on her sculpt. And I love these tights. They're so cute. And for some reason, it's hard for me to find baby tights. I must not be looking in the right places online. It's a little fuzz. There's a fuzz, baby. And I love her hair. So pretty. And you know, since I just brought in this one more doll I've had to do some changing around of babies to make room it's funny how just one more makes a big difference now as you can see she's um, short she doesn't have a real long body um, but she came with this diaper which is really nice and she smells wonderful and her arms and legs move very nicely, like Cuddle Buddy. It's because of how they did the um, legs, how they sewed them right there. And it kind of seems to me like this diaper is a little bit uh, crooked or something. It doesn't seem like it's on quite right, so I'm going to redo that. Make that look a little better. Mm -hmm. And she's gone to work with me several times because I just couldn't bear to leave her at home. <laughs> now I was uh, in my closet and I found this little jacket and I just figured out what went with it because it was a set and I knew it was a set but I just could not remember. And just before I started this video, it finally hit me with these colors. This is what came with it. Now for the pants, I am not quite sure, but I do have some white pants. So I thought maybe we would try that on and see how that fits. This is a newborn size. So let's put this onesie on her and we'll see how it fits. Because I have a feeling she might be an in-between baby, but we'll see. And someone uh, commented that she looks a lot like baby Linda. And I think that's true. So I'll have to bring out the Ashton Drake babies and put them together and compare them. Oh, that face. I've been enjoying those little cheeks. Those sweet little cheeks. Oh, she's so easy to dress because of the way she moves. 
That is so nice. And that went over her head very nicely. Yeah. But it might be a little bit long. Yes, it is long. But I think what I'll do is just tuck it in more. And she loves that little Holly Hobby doll. It's just her size. <laughs> yeah, it's like a dress. Yeah. Well, let's put these white pants on. Which I don't believe came with it, but I don't know what pants came with it. She got a little fuzzies on here because Amelia wore this before her. Oh, and then I'll show her feet. They're really cute. And I forgot to bring out some socks for her, so I'll have to do that. Oh, these are going to be a little bit long, too, for a newborn. Yeah, but that's okay. Let's just give it a try. Let's just go with it. Because it's okay if baby's clothes are a little baggy. And we'll just make sure they are up all the way. And then I can just kind of do that a little bit. Happy, amazing, and brilliant. Why, yes, you are. She's got a little fuzz in her hair right there. <laughs> Oopsies. There we go. Sorry, my hands are a little dry. It's just this weather is so dry. Now, let's try this. And you know, I have two Reborns, but I get such a kick out of these Ashton Drake dolls, too. I just love playing with all of these babies. This might be a little big also. Boy, I really wanted to go to Ross to look for some baby clothes, but I'm just putting that off for a while and seeing what's in my closet. Oh, look at that. The colors are so nice. <laughs> Aw. And yes, it's a little baggy. That's my baggy. My baggy baby. <laughs> but she'll be all ready for work tomorrow. Yes, she will. Oops, thought I had that one. Not quite. Aww. Yeah, she could probably wear a preemie. So we'll try that next time. Or she might be like uh, Teata, which is, uh, she looks good in part preemie and part newborn. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a little, a little confining there. We don't want her to be confined. Look at that. Look at that sweet baby. Do you want to show everyone your feet? Your cute little feet, huh? Yeah, let's show them your feet. Look at those. Look at that foot and look at the wrinkles in her skin. They're so cute. And there's a little fuzz. <laughs> Aww. And here, uh, this one, her toe, her little pinky toe curls. And she has the lines on her feet. And their little chubs. Let me turn her this way. Look at that. <laughs> I think they're so cute because sometimes the babies have kind of square feet. But she has a lot of shape to her feet. Yeah, she sure does. So that's little Rosalie. And I love her name, so I'm just keeping her name. And let's see what I have. So I found this. This is a newborn, and it 
snaps on the side and it also has mittens built in so I thought maybe that might work and a white onesie with these little pants here these little sleeper pants that might be cute I bet she's really cuddly in a sleeper too and this little sweater that can go over something which I was saving for Amelia but I haven't put it on her yet and this little outfit I got for Lily Rose years ago and it has a kitty and it's polka dot and a very nice tone and this is the back side and then the front side with the brown pants and of course pumpkin spices whole outfit I bet would look great on her she looks good in those orangey colors and I've tried the pants on her and they fit and the little booties fit and you probably saw on Instagram I had her in this little hat so we'll do that one later but for now we're going to leave her in that outfit so I'm going to be bringing out some Ashton Drake babies now. Move it this way. And you all know Jana Lynn. She was my very first Ashton Drake baby. In fact, I'm going to stop the camera for just a minute and get set up properly. And here with Rosalie is... Uh, Ashton Drake's Elizabeth, but I've named her Linda, and she does kind of have a solemn look uh, that reminds me of her, like one of my viewers said. And then Aiden. Aiden is a little doll baby. He is so cute, and his skin is super soft, and he is, um, he has armatures, and he is very uh, easy to hold and dress. His legs move very well, and his hair is very soft. Yeah, he's just absolutely adorable. Love him. And then, and, the, and of course, Jana right next to him. And she is the You Are So Beautiful doll that they only made 5,000 of. And she came with a little basket and a pretty outfit, uh, which it was not this one, but she was my very first baby. And let me get Casey Lee. He is down in the cradle. Because since bringing in Rosalie, I've had to make some changes in where everybody hangs out. And so you all know him. He's the cuddle buddy. And here, let me get him a little bit closer. Let me get him closer. And he's very floppy uh, and fun to hold. But he has those arms. Look at that face. Oh, you're really looking at the camera, aren't you? You're hamming it up. You are hamming it up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but he has the arms that move very easily. And so you can pose him. And he's weighted very nicely for such a little guy. A little short baby. And he was newborn also. Uh, or a very small newborn. And his face actually has different expressions to me. When you hold him differently and in different lighting. So that's really cool. Uh, so... Let's see. So the other Ashton Drakes are silicone. And I've had to move them. I'll show you where I moved them. So I managed to get all of my silicones in the cradle. So that worked out good because these two little ones were in the cradle, the small cradle on the floor. But Casey Lee is in there right now. And... John Paul is in the swing, 
and Rosalie's been in the carriage. And so those are all my Ashton Drakes except for the vintage babies. And I'll show you where they are at. And here they are, the Cuddles for the Cure collection. And they, this is Kathy and Sally, and they fit nicely in here. And then I went ahead and put little Rosie in the little carriage that my husband and I redid. I had some vintage teddy bears in there, but I thought, you know, how about if I just trade who gets to lay in the little stroller? So that's what I did. And I've been enjoying them a lot. And so that is it for the Ashton Drake dolls. And I highly recommend Rosalie. In fact, let's go back over there and take another look. And so here she is again. And I will find some little booties or socks for her. But her wavy hair is gorgeous and her eyelashes are absolutely perfect. She's got a little fuzz right there. <laughs> but she is a living doll. Yes, she is. Just absolute doll. And they've done a wonderful job with her. So I highly recommend her if you can get her. Um, I think it might take a while the second round. But... It's, she's definitely worth the wait. And she will be in some more videos for sure. Because I just love this baby. And I got a request about my Paradise Gallery's Pumpkin Spice. So I will have to do a video with her next. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And we shall see you soon. Say bye, Rosalie. Say bye. Thanks for visiting us. Bye-bye.